So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's do better underscore fitness. And that's for my work one. And our car one is watch underscore German underscore cars. Okay, please enjoy the video. So today's video is going to be showing you my Porsche Taycan. It's a Turbo S. It's a 2020 and I'm going to show you the charging curve and on how to get the most high speed power when you're charging it. So this is actually ordered brand spanking new. My brother ordered it. He had a lot of problems with this vehicle. Then he sold it to one of our friends who didn't care about the problems. And my friends had it since then. And then nine months ago, he was going to sell it and I bought it from him. Since I know the whole history of the car, I thought might as well. I'm actually going to get out of it. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I want a new Tycoon because I've actually just driven one on a long trip. And I was comparing them and I will make a video comparing the... EQC because we did a long trip of most of the EVs. Um, we had a Taycan Turbo in black and then we had this Taycan Turbo S and even uh, another Taycan came with us as well. All right, so let's get to the video. Okay, so basically this is going to show you the range. So WLTP maximum range is 315 miles. We don't get that. <laughs> so WLT top trim with heating on is 221. And honestly, I don't think I've ever had over 180 unless you're not using the heating and not using any of that stuff and not driving it for fun you might be able to get more so i wouldn't prefer like hold your breath to get too many miles out of this thing it is really fast though so this is the charging curve as you can see it's going to max out at 265 kilowatts 265 kilowatts that is and that's going to be at a 30 percent so optimal charging for this thing is going to be between 10 and 50 percent once you hit that 50 percent it's going to start tailing off so what we do when we do long trips is we just get to that 50 and then we just carry on our way at least that keeps you over the 250 kilowatts once you get over that 50 percent it does drop down quite a bit by 60 percent you're under 200 by 70 percent you're under 150 and if you're charging it all the way to like 80 or something you're below 100 kilowatts all right just don't see the point so optimal charging 10 to 50 percent like i said and you will see a max peak at 30 and 31 percent and that will be at the 265 kilowatts and that's as good as it's going to get after that it just starts going up and down a little bit and then tails are down this is the new Taycan turbo so I was lucky enough to drive mine down and my buddy's back. It is so much better than the old Taycan. So even though this is just a turbo, I really want one. I'm trying to think if it's worth it. They do depreciate way too hard. So I think I might wait until it's used and then maybe try to get one. Because they do lose about 50% of their value within 3-4 years. That's a lot of money to depreciate. But it does look good and a video will be coming shortly and I will compare the two. And if anybody's interested, this Taycan Turbo S is for sale. Like I said, you could just message me on here, best offers. It is in Great Britain. It is a three owner car. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.